Good morning, it's Adam with Avalon Auto, Avalon Auto Off-Road Builds, Av Alpharetta, Georgia. I'm gonna do a quick uh, comparison, GX versus LX. Um, fielded this question quite a bit over the last year. I happen to own both. Uh, 06 GX 470 is my wife's daily, and the 2010 LX 570 is my daily. To me, best of both worlds. Uh, we both had GXs for a few months. Um, then I got the LX in because I do own a car dealership um, and tried to retail it. It wasn't moving. It baffles my mind how much less desirable these LXs seem to be than their counterpart Land Cruisers. Um, they sell for you know five, ten thousand dollars less sometimes, um, and just as capable. I personally like the fit and finish on the LX versus the Land Cruiser. Uh, same with I prefer the fit and finish of the GX over the Forerunner. Size wise. Uh, they're comparable. The LX is wider. I don't have all the you know wheelbase specs and all that kind of stuff right now. Um, but in the driveway, you know, one's a little wider. Uh, the off-road, the GX is more nimble. Um, cargo is about the same. Uh, we've got a small just little platform set up in my wife's truck. We don't ever use the third row. And in mine. I've got the uh, ARB drawers, you know, I'd say it's a, it's a little deeper than the GX. Um, floor to ceiling, maybe a little bit more too. So there may be an, an extra couple cubic feet of storage. The drawers I really like though, um, cause I tend to be a pack rat and keep a lot of junk, uh, not junk, but just stuff in the truck a lot. Um, you know, the GX is on 34s fairly comfortably, negative 38 offset, body mount chop, pinch line flatten, uh, pinch weld flatten rather, uh, front bumper trim, pretty much the same type of modifications I had to do to fit these uh, zero offset methods on uh, 35 1250s on my LX. So on the GX, you know, you pretty much have to do the same kind of stuff. Body mount chop, that's a Torx fabrication job there. Holly Springs, Georgia, nice pinch weld flatten, another bit of cutting over here uh, to accommodate that negative 38. I've had to go back and retrim a couple of these spots. Um, same with the front bumper cut straight down the body line. Uh, same exact thing I had to do on my LX and another Torx fabrication body mount chop. Um, the LX, you know, the 200 series versus the 120 series kind of think of it as like a, a Ford truck or something where you got a 150, 250 and so on the 200 series, the metal is much more substantial. It's a heavier vehicle. The pinch welds are a lot harder to flatten out. Um, just the steel seems to be heavier gauge or whatnot. And this thing tows 8,500 pounds. This tows 6,500 pounds. I do have a 22 foot car hauler that I regularly tow built GXs around. That's one reason I really prefer the LX myself for my daily, just for the power. Um, interior, you know, fit and finish is great. Almost every LX of these years has the wood grain delaminating. I just say, fuck it. I'm living with it. I'll probably take it off and wrap it or do something with it at some point. It really doesn't bother me too much. Um, and we have both trucks outfitted pretty much the same. I do wish there was a, a better spare tire carrier for these that you can still use the lift gate because most of the hitch mounts one i tow so much i don't necessarily want a hitch mount because i tow some heavy loads um and i also want to be able to you know press my key button and pop up the gate without it hitting a tire um, the, this is the acc garage becky which we've liked uh, on my last one i ran the jw off-road carrier they're both pretty much the same the jw one looks a little cooler i guess they, just with the way they assemble it but they both function just the same um, you know, there's a few more parts, I guess, available for the GXs, the LX. This is still on uh, factory hydraulic suspension, just with a sensor lift. Um, haven't really had any issues with it. I'm still waiting on the Super Pro rear coil uh, spacers to try to space out my coils. Put the 10 millimeter Land Cruiser one in the front coil and the 15 Super Pro in the back just to try to equalize the pressures. Um, but I mean, still, I got really no complaints driving these things anywhere. So it's really just what you're going to do with your truck. Are you planning on towing anything, a camper, 
a boat, um, a travel trailer, the LX to me is the better fit if you're going to tow. Um, if you're just looking for something hella reliable, <coughs> um, fun to drive, extremely capable off-road, the GX is a great option as well. But I don't like towing with the GXs. I've towed before with them. Um, I just don't handle it like the Land Cruisers, you know, the 200 series do. You know, but anyway, these are my two buttes. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe. Uh, questions in the comments, I do try to answer them pretty quickly. Um, and then we've got, you know, our dealership in Alpharetta, Georgia. If uh, you're wanting to add one of these to your fleets, I can probably help you out.